right, here's the plan. I've got a T-Rex 450 feathering shaft here. I'm going to use it as the main pivot point. Here's an enlarged diagram of how the internals of the motor pod will look like. The bearings will seat here and here and the shaft will go through there. Now all I've got to do is design a pod around it. So this is what I'm thinking. The motor will sit on the end of the pod, right here. This will be where the feathering shaft goes through which will join to the main spar of the wing. And then the servo will sit just behind the motor in this part. So it'll be one compact unit and the servo will actually rotate with the motor. Right, I think this is a final product. Motor mounts on the front here. Servo fits in here. <coughs> servo lead can come out of here. You can access the motor bolts through the rear of the pod. On the side here, there's cable tie slots to mount the speed controller on the on the outside of the motor pod. Obviously the shaft for the feathering shaft for the pivot. Yeah. Let's print it out and see if it works. Right, so here's the finished motor pod. Pre-installed the servo wire through here because you have to take the plugs off, it's a bit awkward that. But if I pull the wire through, the servo slots in pretty flush. There you have it, servo fits nicely in there. Same as here, let's install the feathering shaft and see if it pivots. Feathering shaft fits in nicely. Bearing seats in there. I don't know if it'll focus. Come on, focus. So the bearing fits in that side of the block. And also that side. Now I've got to design the other side of the bearing block that will fit into the spa. So on the spa, there's tiny little ribs on the inside. So I've designed this to slot straight into the spar and the filling shaft will go through it. I've printed it already. Don't think that'll focus, but that slots straight into the spar like so. So that's the whole pivot assembly complete. Slots into the spar. It rotates nice and strong, no play, all solid. Now I just need to figure out a way of making the servo control this tilting mechanism. So I've printed up two gears. At the moment they're the same size, so it's a one to one gear ratio. One press fits onto the aluminium spar. Like that and one fits onto the servo so here's the final product the motor mounts on the top the servos well hidden inside there and it's got gears to rotate it I'd like to thank you for watching please subscribe to follow more videos and leave a thumbs up cheers bye